Um, Eric, man, hell of a game. I thought you guys you know, played played your guts out. Just what, what were your overall thoughts on on the game? Yeah, I mean, you know, obviously, um, you know, fans, players, coaching staff, um, you know, you know, the object is to win. And um, but I mean, I can't fault our our effort. Um, you know, we played really, really hard. You know, I've been saying it for quite some time that we're getting better. I think we got, you know, I mean, we look like a better basketball team, although we didn't win. It's a tough environment. Alabama's only lost two games on the year. Um you know, and one of them was a long time ago against Clemson. So um, hard building to play in. Um, really talented team, a team that can, you know, f final four caliber uh, talent wise. And, and um, you know, we controlled the game for, you know, for 38 minutes or whatever it was. Um, you know, so we, you know, played good, but, but not good enough uh, to beat Alabama on their home floor tonight. And then at the end of regulation, you know, obviously you want the ball in, in, in battle's hands. He's been so good at driving and drawing fouls. Uh, would you like to have seen him drive there rather than take the three or kind of what, what, what was your thought on that? Yeah, there was no need for the three. Um, you know, he he made a read and, and, and you live with that as a coach. So, um, you know, don't want to put the blame on any shot or any one play, certainly. Uh, but we had the ball in the guy's hands we wanted, you know, running the clock down and and, uh, you know, because it was 11-11 from the foul line, you know, certainly would have uh, preferred a dribble drive and 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 to, uh, you know, to try to see if we could get to, you know, scoring in zone one. Um, you know, having said that, we you know, we had a dunk that, that didn't go down. And, and then we had, uh, you know, defensively, we gave up, you know, a couple catch and shoot threes without making them floor the ball. And, and, and really those, you know, few plays are the ones that, that would stand out right now without reviewing the film. That miss dunk you referred to on Makai looked like well it didn't look like there you watch the replay there's obvious contact with Pringle on the body just wondering your your thoughts on not getting a call there yeah we haven't we haven't had we haven't that hasn't happened for us all season long um, quite frankly I mean I saw the body contact and and um, you know but it's it's not worth commenting it's not worth sending things in so I'm just you know. Alabama beat us, no excuses, but there was contact with Kai. I mean, what and, if, whether to tell us that, you know, that after reviewing, we'll get some, you know, we'll find out tomorrow that it was missed, but it just doesn't change the outcome of the game. No, I, I, I get you. And like I said, I understand frustrating loss, but you guys outside of that, that you know, bad eight-minute stretch or whatever against Vandy, you guys have played pretty well going on, you know, close to a month now. Just how do you feel like you guys are, are playing going into the tournament? Well, Bob, I you know, I think it's, a, you know, it's our job um, as a team, as a unit, as a program to get, you know, to get better as the season progresses. And and there's no denying that we haven't done that. Sometimes, uh, you know, the wins haven't come like tonight. Um, so, you know, we'll, we'll go to we'll go to Nashville and see what happens. Every game there is, you know, it's hard to win one game there. So um, we have to we have to get ourselves mentally ready and, and uh, you know, put this loss behind us and, and uh, you know, try to get ready to, to win the next game. Yeah, and uh, Tre Tre Trevin played, I thought, his best game since he's been back. Uh, you know, foul trouble wasn't as bad. Just how would you think he played? Maybe what kind of boost can that give you going into Nashville? Yeah, I thought he played uh, well. He was really good on the offensive glass with 5-0 boards. And, and, and um, you know, I thought he did a good job. You know, he had two shots blocked and, and got to play 30 minutes. So I thought he, he played a really good game for us. Um, you know, he got in foul trouble the last couple of games. Do you think maybe it was just the fact he was he, he'd gotten in a little bit of a groove that he didn't get in foul trouble? And how, how important was that that he was able to be on the floor that long? Yeah, I mean, I think certainly, you know, defending without fouling becomes extremely important. I mean, the night foul trouble bothered us, you know, in the backcourt, um, you know, with, with L, you know, having four and, and T Mark having four and um you know certainly you know want guys to be able to play extended minutes with without fouling. And and you obviously played a lot through through KB and and, and Makai, like that's been the case in, in most of your good games of here late. Just what do you thought about those two guys as, as a combo for you? Yeah, I mean they're playing a you know really good uh, two-man game and and um you know we got to clean up our turnovers, certainly. I mean, 
um, you know, we had 10 between those two guys, which were putting the ball in their hands and, and um, 16 turnovers as a unit. We got to, we certainly got to clean that up. Um, but those two guys playing off the elbows and playing in pick and rolls have been a hard cover for the opposing teams, whoever we played. Well, Walters was a guy for them. I mean, that's got a lot of great players, but sometimes, you know, when, when you do a good job on their star players, a guy like that can kind of ha have a game. What what what'd you think of him? Was, was he a guy that surprised you, that, that freshman? No, he didn't surprise us. I mean, we're supposed to make him floor the basketball. And uh, and, he, and he shot the ball on a catch and shoot, and it was a crucial play uh, in the game. Um, you know, we didn't, we didn't, we didn't make him floor the basketball and he had a big offensive rebound, but no, he was, I mean, we talked about it and we knew he was a guy that could knock down shots and played with energy. I might have a couple more, but I'll, I'll hand it back to Kyle if others have questions. Anthony, you have any questions? Yeah, just the one from me. Uh, obviously, Richel, the Trell right cell is obviously a guy who can hit the three at a couple of big ones. Can you just talk about, you know, what you saw from him in the prep and how did he kind of, I guess, hurt you down the stretch there? Well, he's a great three-point shooter. Um, you know, it's a, it's a great signing um, by Alabama as a transfer who can make shots and coming from Cal State Fullerton. And, um, you know, he's he's a guy that um, shoots it with confidence and, and uh, he made two that were, you know, really, really clutch for them. Um, you know, I thought we guarded the three-point line, followed the game plan really well until maybe the last minute and a half of the game, and then and then into overtime, we, you know, we we slipped up on on uh, not making certain guys floor it, and um, you know that's that's a difference in a in a four-point game. Wrap us up, Bob. Yeah, Eric Estrada, man, you guys did a great job on him. I, he was really struggling. I don't think he scored in the first half. He got loose a little bit in the second half. Of course, he's a guy you saw at Hofstra. Just wonder what your thoughts were on maybe some of the plays Estrada made down the stretch for, for Alabama. Yeah, I mean, he's a he's a great player. I mean, he went four for 14. He went 0 for 5 from 3. I thought we did a phenomenal job. He had five turnovers. Um, he made some big plays down the stretch. He's a good player, and you're not going to be able to – I mean, if you, if you hold a guy to 4 for 14, whenever he scores whether it's down the stretch whether it's the last four plays of the I mean we did a really good job it's hard to do much more than hold a guy to four for 14 and and uh and there's five turnovers I don't I don't know how we could have done a better job but he did make some big baskets down the stretch which is what great players do and, and then you seem like you settled on this rotation now you know of who you're starting after so many combos, which I, I get why you were trying to push all those buttons during the year, but how good is it to hear at the end, finally, you've been able to sell on a rotation you like, and it's been pretty productive for you. Yeah. I think the rotations, you know, done a great job and, and uh, sometimes with some injuries and, and um, you know, we're, we were searching all year and, and I do think in the last you know month we've settled on a group that uh, that's done a really good job and has competed. And, you know, I guess you play, I think you play Bandy on Wednesday. I think I got that right. Um, I, what, 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 what's your thoughts on getting another shot, those guys, and just, you know, your thoughts on the tournament in general? Obviously, it's a big, big ask. You got to try to win five in five days, but, you know, it's possible. Obviously. Yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll start talking about Vanderbilt as a staff, Bob, when we get on the plane right now. We haven't talked about them at all because we, we had this game on our schedule, and uh, we'll try to get ready for them. Um, you know, they, 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 they're a team that competes. They're well coached. They understand the roles. They have three stars. We got to do a much better job on their center uh, than we did last game. We've got to do a much better job on their two guards, man, John and, and, uh, and, and T Lawrence. And, uh, and then you got to take away the three with the other guys. So that would be uh, some of the game plan stuff that, that we've got to do. And we've, we've got to, uh, you know, play much better than we did last game against uh, Vanderbilt. Yeah. Got, got any, got any final thoughts you want to impart? No, thanks, you guys. Okay, thanks. thanks. Appreciate it.